more tutorial here from Mr. Belbas on MSGP. Follow us on YouTube, that's Z Squad on YouTube. Now, just to start the tutorial, this is if you're new to the game, come down to Korea. I like to start in Korea because um, I guess my use and into the game a bit better rather than going in on multiplayer and getting slammed by these guys that's really good at the game. So come in here, this is your area where all your gear is, all your info, a locker here, this is where you can change your helmets and so on, your name criteria and so on, there you go, just X on them if you need to change, okay, that's good, so I do need to change, that's my criteria there. Okay, appearance, appearance, now you've got helmets. You always start off with about three elements, I think it is, but you unlock them as you go along, okay? So just X on whatever you want to choose. Back out of there, color, styles, racing number, I selected my birth date there, so font style, look at the back of his shirt, on jumper, there you go, if you have a look, I'll change the style, style writing changes, whatever suits you best, okay? So there you go. There's that, there's the manager, nothing to worry about here, select who you like, just to choose a face you pretty much like, and uh, that'll be it, okay? Uh, right, up to there. Okay, now your computer, nothing much to worry about, X on that. After each game you get a certain amount of emails, of sponsors, of uh, your manager, this is my manager here. And when you go on to each one, you highlight like them in red. The bottom of the page, you'll see the whatever it is in the email that he's got to say to you. Racing for and so on. Circle out of there. Team interest. That just shows you what what kind of what interest you want. You can start off with MX1 if you like. 175 cc up to 250 cc for two stroke, and from 290 cc up to 450 cc for four stroke in both of them. Okay, so then obviously it tells you bottom right whatever category it is, what info you need to know. Okay, come over there, social feeds, just like a blog. After each race you'll get, some of these are real riders in real life. It just makes you look a bit more realistic, a bit more virtual. And they give you a bit of stick sometimes, depending. You, if you, uh, you may have won today, but don't let it go, don't let it go to your head. The Daika is going to own you next time. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, come back over there. Calendar you, it's the most important part. Can be calendar. You always start off in you on number one. When speech track you complete, you open up the next. And so on. And I was 18 in you. You've got to complete the old 18. To complete that career, okay? There. Come over there. Standings board. This just shows you where you are. At the moment, I'm in position one. Which I am um, 92 points, uh, yeah, 92 points clear of number two, so I'm okay a minute. MX2, I haven't done much in there, so that'll come in future. Okay, now you've got your magazine down here, MXGP Mag, click on that, and it shows you after every race you get a, a position in a magazine, the MXGP Magazine, Walters Graduates with Honours, push it to the limit, and Portuguese track pays is F at info. Okay, that's pretty much all that is. That's to worry about. Right toggle, you can have a look around and down. That's pretty much that. And like I said, if you like to start the race, you can come into calendar, go to the race, highlighted yellow, number seven. Like start the race, so you got race options. You got three laps, five laps, whatever you feel. Uh, I always start with three because that gets me through my career quicker. Race session for weekend. Bottom right hand corner tells you in all sessions only the qualifying practice session and the races. Or go directly to the races. In the latter case, you can choose to have only one or two races for each weekend. Okay, and you can set the AI, which is artificial intelligent bikes. So it will be pretty much false riders along with you to fill in the spaces so if there's I don't know uh, 12 riders needed and there's six of you in the other six will be artificial okay uh, so you can set that to how you like so if you feel you need to be pushed more 
that the artificial bit harder on other again if you like realistic they really good there mind you gotta really push it so uh start off if you begin in the game just start the game start them off on easy okay okay come back right in assists if you just begin in the game again set the base base easier for you to control the bike right uh, semi-automatic to throw in his weight around so that'll help you out you can set to it manual or semi-automatic whatever you prefer if you prefer to the gears on your own set the manual if you like a bit of an assistance you got semi-automatic okay there you go okay now just start base Okay, race is loading up, here you go, get the Ferrero, intermediate ground, cinematics you can just X through, now you, if you press right and left if you like the cinematics, these realistic, which are real uh, pictures, which are sometimes nice to look at, I per personally like to watch uh, MX myself, so nice to see. Okay, wait for the game to load. Don't forget guys, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube, much appreciated. And at the moment there is five members of Z Squad. X on this, proceed. Now up here you got session info. Session info you got you can practice if you like, you can practice as long as you like. You can go straight to qualifying if you want to qualify. I personally don't bother with them. If I'm in a career, I like to skip all that because I'm used to the game at the moment. So I just go skip straight to race one, complete that, complete race two. It gets me through my career very quick. Okay. So personally, I skip practice and qualifying. Get straight to race. There you go. There's your riders. At the moment, I'm down the bottom at 22. <coughs> Proceed. Confirm. <coughs> okay, game will load in. You can look at different sections of the track when it's loading. Red, red spots are your hoop sections or tabletops. Normally, the most trickiest parts. The corners try and flow in nice and slow in the corners because uh, you fall off, you get penalized, you lose time, you get caught up on, and you lose your spot. And the green, obviously, a red highlights where you could be, but as it goes, I got a full session, so I won't be able to go anywhere else. So only you in the green section. Press X and press X to skip the cinematics if you don't prefer to watch it, we need to get through quick. So we'll rev him up, get ready, push forward and start. Otherwise, you'll end up lifting the bike and flipping, okay? Now you always get into a bit of a mix-up here, you make them off, if you're lucky you won't. And like I said, try and take your time on the corners, because that's most important, really. As you get used to the game, you start being able to know how much you can give around the corners, okay? Now, if you're pumping something like that, Reverse, remember you got the reverse section there, right? And then you out. Okay, now, as you go on in the game, you'll get better at the game. This is a small tutorial. I know, panic here. Okay, now, in some cases, like in multiplayer, you can actually knock the collision off. So then you won't actually hit each other or get knocked off by another player, okay? Try and level the bike out on your landing. It lands the bike smoother and you pick up speed a lot quicker out of it, okay? Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty much covered you. Now you just need to get into the game. Get winning. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, this is Z-Squad. Over and out.